Hi, I'm Steve of Pragmasys. This is a brief video about fitting the torque ground anchor using an injection resin cartridge. We've already checked this area is clear of pipe and metalwork using a typical DIY type metal detector and we've also drilled a test hole to uh, confirm the quality of the concrete at least as an initial test anyway so we're confident that resin is a good approach for this. Um, we're now going to continue with um, drilling the, the first hole to the full depth. We're going to use a budget type SDS drill to do this. Mains powered though, mains powered SDS. The drill is already marked with a piece of tape to show the depth so we just get on with it. We can clean the dust from that and use a vacuum cleaner as well to clean it properly. We're going to vacuum the dust out of this hole. It's very important to get the hole clean. If you don't have a vacuum cleaner available, you can use the piece of plastic tube we provide, but be sure to wear safety specs and blow the dust out of the hole. There will be a lot of dust in the hole. We now have the hole clean, so we can position the ground anchor how we want it and we can use one of the bolts to act as a guide and get the ground anchor nice and square where we want it. Use a piece of cloth to protect the ground anchor because we're going to stand on it and use it to help hold the drill in position as we drill the diagonal hole from the first one we've already done. Just a couple of inches is plenty to guide the drill, move the ground anchor out of the way and then we can drill the hole to the correct depth, again relying on the piece of tape. Now we'll vacuum the hole again uh, and get ready to complete the hole. We now have both holes nice and clean uh, with vacuum. So we can position the ground anchor using the hole we started with and drop the second bolt in so the ground anchor is properly fixed in position ready to drill the other two holes now. Uh, we can do these again with a bit of protection and uh, just take them in the first couple of inches before lifting the ground anchor out of the way. Then we can finish drilling these last two holes to the full depth. Then we're ready to vacuum all four holes very thoroughly now, get them properly clean.
We've vacuumed the holes clean, so now we can check that all four of them are to the correct depth by just dropping the bolt in and making sure it, it bottoms out in each case. Now we can also just double check to see that we've not broken into the bottom of the concrete or through the bottom of the concrete and that the, the holes themselves are good. This is less of an issue with the injection resin kit because we've got more resin to work with but we still want to know what we're dealing with. Final check on alignment, positioning the ground anchor base plate and just checking that all four bolts will drop in position correctly. So now we remove the ground anchor and don't forget to put the red D-shackle in position before putting the ground anchor back in place or the ground anchor base plate back in place ready to actually inject the resin. So we get the ground anchor in in the correct position and we've got bolts that are nice and clean. If there was any dust in these we'd need to clean them off either by tapping them on the floor or using a brush to make sure the threads are clean. This is important, just as important as, as making sure the holes are clear of dust. So we're now ready to continue with injecting the resin. Now because we're using injection resin we don't need the hex socket of the bolt. So I've cheated here and I've already hammered the ball bearing into each of the bolts. That was done by just holding the bolt in a vise and hammering the ball bearing into it um, separately. Um, the alternative, if you don't have a vice available, is to go through the resin process and then fit the uh, ball bearing afterwards in the normal way using a hammer and the small bolt that we provide. Now the resin cartridges we offer are of two different types. There's a self-contained smaller cartridge, the 100mm version, uh, which does not require a sealant gun. Um, there's also a larger version which actually has more resin included but that is more expensive and it requires use of a sealant gun. So because we're confident that the concrete is very good and we've got good quality holes, we're happy in this case to use the smaller cartridge. So we'll now go ahead with preparing the cartridge uh, prior to actually inserting the resin. I've already put a glove on. Um, it's not particularly important with this type of resin, but it's good practice if, if you uh, are concerned. Now we simply remove the plastic cap and screw the nozzle on firmly onto the cartridge. A little bit fiddly. Now the nozzle includes a mixing device within it so we can start to turn the back of the cartridge and that will start to force resin through the mixing device and as it goes further through there so it gets better and better mixed. The first little bit of resin we will eject deliberately onto something unimportant and we can see that it's a consistent colour and in this case it's a light grey which is correct. Now we can go ahead and actually inject the resin into each of the holes. So we do that by pushing the nozzle right down into the bottom of the hole and keeping note of the position of the twiddly head on the cartridge because we're going to inject about one and a half to two turns of resin into each hole gradually withdrawing the nozzle as we do it. So here we go. That's half a turn, that's one turn, that's one and a half turns, you can see the resin is coming up to meet us, and that looks like that's going to be plenty. So now we go ahead and using our gloved hand we put the first bolt into the hole and we can do this just by hand and just gently squidging the bolt into the resin we can see the resin is actually just being displaced, so in fact the holes here are so good um, we don't even need as much as, as one and a half turns uh, on the cartridge. So we can do less in the next hole. Now we do the diagonal, again down to the bottom of the hole, start turning, make a note of where we are. That's about half a turn. That's one turn. And that's one and a bit. Second bolt, squeeze it in, just gently. And even then we've got more resin than we need. So we'll do even less in this third hole. Right down to the bottom, start turning, half a turn. 
that's about one turn we'll see how that looks if there's not quite enough if we're not confident we can always squirt some more in and I can feel as I'm pushing each of these bolts in there's some good resistance and it looks like we've got the volume of resin just right now so we can do the last one exactly the same right down to the bottom of the hole half a turn one turn and the fourth bolt go in position again nice firm resistance gives us confidence that the resin is is going to do its job and we now have all four bolts in position let's give them all a little squidge and this is where gloves can be useful or a piece of cloth to just wipe some of the excess resin away this is where with this type of kit it is a little bit harder to get an installation that looks perfect just because you've almost certainly not got the volume of resin exactly right in every case but this is cosmetic rather than being of any real significance just wipe the resin off the round anchor so we can clean these as best we can now this resin will take something like 20 minutes upwards depending on, on ambient temperature to, to set completely so we've actually got plenty of time for for this process uh, we've already got the ball bearings in the bolts so basically this is the last stage of, of fitting the anchor should have had some more cross really there we go the ground anchor is now fitted uh, one other thing we do with all resin fixings after we uh, uh, allow the resin to harden say a couple of hours ideally even overnight come back say the next day grab hold of the shackle and give it a jolly good tug and just make sure that the resin hasn't had a chance to leak away we have no doubts with this uh, situation because the concrete is such good quality um, but just on principle we want to make sure the anchor is firmly fixed and there we go